Hi, I'm Dean Pettit and thanks very much for joining me. So finally, we're going to get something worthwhile on the channel. This has had a couple of a uh, couple of really dodgy videos, really bad color grading and so on. But uh, hopefully now we're going to actually be able to get some decent content out there. Now, like I said, when I wanted to start this channel, it's going to document some of my journey through being a sort of disabled photographer. So when I have to go out and about and I'm in the wheelchair, I want to try and take you guys along with me. But at the same time, I like trying to do things Things on a budget and that is very very important to me because I haven't got big YouTuber money to be throwing at sort of lights and cameras and all that sort of stuff so I'm going to take you through a bunch of the things that I enjoy using as they come in and today seemed like a great idea to start so today we're going to be looking at a new light now this one is going to be an unboxing video because I know nothing about this light whatsoever now this is um, called an X Pro LED 150 watt light so very similar to I mean I couldn't afford the aperture 120d and they they're, they're the the bees knees if you're a youtuber these days um, and obviously Godox have some options as well um, but I think the 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 one the 150 watt came to around about sort of just under 300 pounds something like that um, and uh, and there's there's varying kind of prices but there seems to be a little bit of a difference on YouTube with regards to any color casting and all that sort of stuff now this one this EX Pro um, came through at 200 pounds so 200 pounds on Amazon 150 watts continuous lighting daylight white version I don't know if it's going to be any good so I thought why not unbox it it's the cheapest light I've found and I couldn't find any any reviews of it on uh, YouTube or anywhere else so I thought why not let's do something Let's get stuck into this one together, shall we? Let's get this bad boy open and see what we've got to play with. I'm pretty excited because, well, I say I'm pretty excited, but you know, what do you expect for 200 quid? Do you expect something that's going to be a superstar light or do you expect something that's going to be a monstrous waste of money? One of these kind of buy right or buy twice situations or is this actually going to work out to be what we want it to be? I don't know. I don't know. But let's have a little look and see what we've got. So moving that out, nothing else in the box. Oh, is there something in there? Let me just check. Move this big box out of the way. Uh, the delivery for Amazon was pretty damn quick as well, which I'm very happy about. Okay, so these are all the fittings and stuff. Oh no, this is a fitting. So there we go. Bosh, right, let's have a little look and see what we've got. So um, here we go with the uh, the box. I don't know if that's gonna, going to show up, but like I said, I will take some, uh, some B-roll with this as well. So uh, it's a constant light source and uh, should be, should be fairly straightforward. So this one's got a UK plug on it. It says on the top of the box right there. Um, what else have we got on this? Sunlight is designed to meet the digital photographer to shoot and tailor video film requirements. High CRI light, emitting component and standard color temperature meet the professional photography with video needs. Standard color temperature. Does that mean that there's a chance we could get a grade? I don't know. Um, with 100 watt high power LED, uh, well, this this is this this says 150 for a start, so I'll, I'll show you that in the uh, in the B-roll. But anyway, um, 100 watt high power LED, brighter than traditional 1000 watt quartz bulb. Blah blah blah. Like, but I'll show you that. I'll do some B-roll of that. But let's have a little look and see what we've got. So first of all, it sort of it kind of gives an idea. That this box has been opened that as you saw wasn't sealed in any way i've not opened this before and that does kind of look like it's been kind of thrown in there a little bit so i don't know i don't know what the score there is and also we've got maybe it's just because they checked to make sure that um that it had the uh, uk plug possibly i don't know seeing as that's poking outside there it might just be because they checked to show that one but let's have a little let's have a little look see there you come. Oh, 
we'll put that bit there. Hopefully it wasn't breakable. So <laughs> the box has literally just exploded. <laughs> right, anyway, that's okay. What went flying was only the remote. So that was another thing. This is a remote light, so it's got remote control. So that's not something I saw particularly in this price range. So that's why I'm kind of super excited to find out a little bit more about this here light. So straight off the bat, we've got a we've got a sort of a Bowen's main rubber cap going on protecting the LED. Maybe it's got a hole in there that you might be able to use for something, but um, I imagine it's just going to be as a protector. It seems like it's got a solid metal casing on the outside, which is good. Let's have a little look at the uh, the mount there. The mount seems to be a kind of a cast metal as well, so I'm happy with that one. But no, all in all, decent size. There's a good amount of weight to it. There looks as though there's a reasonable amount of venting in here, and that's something that really concerned me because apparently it doesn't have a fan. Um, obviously, if you're recording video regularly, then you'll know that you know if you've got a fan kicking off and making a load of noise, it can be an absolute nightmare. No fan means no noise. But my concern is, is it going to time out? Is it going to kind of just stop working after a period of time? But uh, I'm sure we will find out shortly. So all I've done now is just put it onto a super uh, cheap and cheerful light stand just so we can have a little bit of a better idea about what's going on. Um, I have also plugged in the power lead and I've got to say this is a really long power lead. I would say this is a good three or four meters in length so uh, you've got a decent amount of length there if you want it. That's what she said. Now I've never had a Bowen style mount before. I've never had one of these style of lights before so I'm super excited to see how we get on. Now just underneath the front of there there we've got a little uh, a little sort of catch push that back and that will allow us to take off the cover that's covering the LED and inside there that will show the nice big honking great big LED we've got to play with this does say that it is 150 watts along the side of it as well so hopefully that's what we're going to be getting with it says EX Pro on the back there as well on the side there as well rather on the back there we do have the manual dimmer we also have have a changing channel group switch I believe so we can actually daisy chain these up or have control with the uh, with the controller for multiple devices which is great and we do have a honk and great big on off switch as well we've got the little carrying handle on the top there as well so everyone's a winner let's get this bad boy on that was also in the package as well clicked on like so and we are good to go now obviously we have got a little bit of a rattle going on there that's going to be uh, that's just going to be a thing um, but uh, let's have a little crack and plug it in and see what we've got to play with shall we this bit always really scares me okay so we're plugged in and let's have a little look and see how bright we go Alrighty, so this is, let's have a little look and see what we've got. This starts at 10% and that's on the uh, the black backdrop material there. So starting at 10%, that's 5,700 Kelvin um, on channel one. That's the information that we've got on this back screen here. Now turning this up, just taking it incrementally, we're now on 30%, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 100. Now, I mean, it's bright, don't get me wrong. It is very bright. I expected it to be a little bit brighter, I think, but it is pretty bright. And so that's something that I've, uh, I'm very happy with. Now, like I say, I've got to see what this is like when it comes to using um, using the uh, uh, diffuser on it and all that sort of stuff. But let's have a little look and see if the remote works. Have we got batteries in the remote? No, of course we haven't. I'm gonna have to put some batteries in here. Find some Duracells. Hopefully these will do the trick fresh in the package eh? so let's see if uh, if this works and it does we've got a readout it's showing me that it's showing 35 percent 5700 kelvin on the first channel and it also shows you what i'm guessing or rather hoping is the uh, the battery level for the remote which is very very handy indeed okay let's just see if we can take this up hey it's going up it's working do we need to point it 
There we are at 100%. That's 100%. Taking it down. One click at a time. 25% to 10%. So boom, there we go. It's very quiet, which I think is fantastic, but it certainly sounds like it has got a fan going on in my book. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move that uh, that uh, black backdrop there and we'll have a little look and see if it looks as though it's casting any other colour onto the white wall behind it. Alrighty, so that is the uh, the backdrop moved out of the way there and this is rocking it at 10% on that white wall. Now if I push this up, let's go, can you just put your finger down? Yeah, you can keep your finger down on it and we're blowing that out nicely. So I'm going to have a little look and see if this kind of comes up as having any particular colour cast when I'm uh, when I'm editing but you know all in all that's a pretty damn bright light and that is exactly what I was looking for particularly um, and well that's what I was looking for but my bigger issue was being affordable. It looks as though it's white, it looks as though it's a, a nice clear bulb and uh, to me that looks like that might have been, might have been the bargain of the century. But what I will do is I will make sure that I keep you guys up to speed with exactly how this performs, if it continues to perform well and uh, yeah I'll let you know how you get on. If you do want to see any more information about this, particularly once I've got it inside a diffuser and I've got a, an octagonal 85 inch diffuser, 85 inch? maybe centimeter might be 85 centimeter 85 centimeter diffuser <laughs> then if you want to see that then let me know and I'll find out more for you and I'll do another video but no all in all 200 quid I'm quite happy with this even if it does have a little fan in it it seems to be nice and quiet um, we'll see about the brightness side of things but so far like I said I mean I think even at 10% that's reasonably bright and taking it all the way up there um, this seems like it's going to be more than bright enough for me, but we'll see how we get on. Anyway, could this be the future key light for the channel? I think it might be. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Dean Pettit and I will see you next time.